Hello again. Fancy meeting you here on the docks of London. Uh, so, uh, an interesting thing happened, and I've uh, reloaded my save. This is the beginning of a new episode, unless for whatever reason I slapped this on the tail end of another video. But uh, something's about to happen as soon as I set off for sea. So I want to make sure I have the stuff I need. I'm not sure what else I might want to do. How many do I have? Nice. Uh, I was going to set up to do the Vendorbyte tour guide, the tour group thing. But I'm not sure something something ha something is about to occur, or at least it occurred the last two times I loaded the save. Um, so I th I think our focus is going to have to be that, um, and unfortunately we're even going to be going in that direction uh, towards Venerbite. But uh, I don't like where I think we're going to need our supplies. I'm. I don't know. It'd be nice. Uh, and I'm not sure what to do about Guider's Morn. Like, Guider's Morn is not in the direction we need. we're about to need to go, I don't think. But, uh... Let's see. I think it's like 12 or like 15. And then I can go... I can refuel somewhere up there. I don't know, Mount Palmerston or something. So uh, I think, so this is, uh, this is all going to be after stupidity. Um, what else can I be doing? I guess purchase some of these until I run out. How many of these do I need for the Modiste? I'm going to look that up. I have a note here somewhere. Oh, my notes, my many, many stupid bad notes. It is, yeah, five. So I'm one off, so I'm, if we're going to Mount Palmerston, I think that might be fine. Okay, and then the rest I will do mushroom wine because we're going to uh, vendor bite. Okay. I, don't, I, I will do after stupidity too, just in case. Alright, so that's that. Well, Time to go on our adventure. Time to go to Guider's Morn, right? No. The brisk campaigner collapses. Oh, boy. One moment she's lecturing an apologetic zailer on personal hygiene. The next, she's stretched full length on the deck. By the time you reach her, she's regaining consciousness. Alright, so you're disposed... Yeah, so this is so this is a trick one. I, I won't uh, bother to click on it because I just tried it out just before. Um, so if you say you know you were indisposed, she stares at you in consideration. If you have not yet won her trust, um, if you cannot do so immediately or don't care to, she will leave the ship. So if you choose this option, she just leaves forever. So like you just wasted what is it fifty dollars to to hire her on. Um, yeah, gone forever. So it's uh it's very cool. I I I I will say, you know, the doctor the doctor may steal uh my hard earned secrets, but at least at least he doesn't die five seconds after you hire him. So, so if you do this one, she's like, okay, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to have troubled you. I won't tell you nothing. 
I'm going to get off at the next stop. And it says, you have lost the Brisk campaigner forever. Just so sorry if you didn't have a secret to spare. If you were like a normal player uh, and you just use your secrets as you as you find them. Uh, too bad, so sad. I don't love it. Anyway, you were indisposed. I wonder. Ask her if she's been to the Elder Continent. Hint at what might be wrong. You have your suspicions. And indeed, we should. We've actually, if, if you recall from Adam's way... Yes, it's called Animescence. I don't know if you recall the Animescence Hospital. Uh, but in the Elder Continent, there is a flame that burns souls. My soul caught a light. It only smolders. Souls burn long and slow. But long before it is consumed, it will sizzle my brain and bake my heart. No, it's not dangerous to anyone else. Until I die. You should give my body to the sea when that happens. Yes, there is a little danger. I apologize. Deeply. I should have told you. I have been selfish. But you might, have received, you might have refused my service. And I hope, still, there are things out here on the Z that will save me. There's a slight fissure in her reserve. Okay, so you can kick her off. I don't know why you would. But her circumstances are desperate. Her deception is easily forgiven. It's, it's not her fault. Like, absolutely... You know, I want to help her. The problem is, I've never successfully done it. Because she dies too fast, frankly. I guess I just had bad dice rolls, but still. Her circumstances are desperate. Her deception is easily forgiven. Wearing hope. If I... I swear to you that no matter what happens next, I will keep no other secrets from you. She pauses to think. No secrets of my own. I am a doctor yet. You have my deepest thanks. My very deepest May we adjourn to my cabin to discuss the matter in private? So... I have an idea, but I'm going to need flesh from chillier kingdom. Solace fruit from the melting isles where the mangrove college lies. And yes, more muter salt. I regret that it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So we have that. We don't have a docile blemigan. We don't have muter salt. We do at least have the solace fruit, which can be hard to get. So it's kind of annoying because we have to go north and then we have to go way south, all the way to the Utter Shroom to get a docile Blemigan. If I had known, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, I think I said like an episode or two ago, just like, oh, I don't want to look up the, the stats for things. I just, I, I want to play it as it lies with, with when it comes to companions. And uh, it turns out looking at this, no, I don't. Because there's a good chance she's going to die, which will lock out all her content, whatever her story is. I don't know her story. Never been able to do it. Um, yeah, I just... We'll see. I, I didn't expect it to be immediately upon hiring her. Maybe it, maybe it is. Maybe I just didn't remember. But I thought at least I could leave port before it happened. So that happened. All right, so manual save. We're on stupidity two. Uh, we're gonna just have to do our best. There's not much we can do. Oh, I should have put on better teammates. That's too late. Nothing more to be done. We just gotta get up as fast as we can. Up to Wither, that's where I'm aiming for, because that's where we can get... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Am I being foolish? See, that's the problem. It's like, here are the places that I need to go. Here. Here. Oh, actually. You know what? Oh... I had a thought, because I have to go to Guider's Mourn or else I'll be killed. So maybe this isn't the smart play. Maybe I should reload. Can I sell mushroom wine anywhere? I ghoul. 
Guider's Morn is 23. That's uh, as good as... Uh... Yeah, Guider's Morn is as good. So you know what? I'm going to actually change the plans. Since I need to go to the Utter Shroom as well anyway. I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do Expedition 1 South. Uh, because I need to go to Guider's Morn. And then uh, next is uh, North. Because I think, I think I may need to go to Mount Palmerston 2 for her. I think y you don't know what she's going to need. Which again is wonderful and exciting uh, when she's on a literal timer. Uh, but she might need some zoop. Uh, okay, so I'm going to reload. Load game. Stupidity 2. Alright, so we're going to try that again. Um, man, I do like... Sorry, I got distracted by the... I do like the silhouette work that they do. I don't know... The, the artist is, of course... Is, a, is of course, cited somewhere. Uh, I won't look it up at this moment. Uh, but, like, it does look very interesting. Like, this isn't, of course, like anything like London, but you have these alien looking, well, alien looking, these weird looking spires, and the, those are the Echo Bazaar. And you have these ramshackle places, and then beyond it is, like, a more typical, like, London chimneys and the like. I know it's interesting. It's it's like a weird, you know. No one would recognize this as London, but it certainly looks different from a lot of other places on the Unterzee. Um. Okay, so let's try that again. This time we're gonna go south first. Dang it! Oh, God in heaven. Okay, one last time. One last time. Manual save after stupidity two and okay because the the wretched monk has been useful once I I grant them that they were useful on Guider's Morn in that one fight I've never seen them be useful before or since uh, it was amazing. So we're going to pass over Rack. I don't think I'm going to bother to go to Rack. I don't know. The problem is, like, this still this very much is a game where you make money off of ports you go to. Which makes it a bit of an issue. here and use my recent news to get a Z story because we need one for uh, for uh, up and wither it's part of the price for muter salt you need five or seven Z stories I forget how many I looked up and once again I was just like, oh wait a second, I don't have the tireless mechanic up. Of course I don't. I need that fuel efficiency. I keep unslotting him.
Okay. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a good good idea to save. After stupid D three, because I'm looking at the number of fuel I have left already. I think I'm just going to go straight to Guiders 1 because I don't want to go to Rack. If it, it just takes so, it just is a hassle to go underwater, get the port report, nearly die. Of course. some fuel out of it. I have more fuel than when I started fighting them. That's a nice change of pace, actually. Hopefully you're going the right direction. One day, Avid Suppressor, 40 fuel. Just gonna rocket through this land. How did his bones come come down from above? Demo's gate, named for a navigator lost above. I don't know that story. I don't know if you find it out here in Fallen London. Oh, <laughs> someone's nearby. as fast as I can. Whew. So, after all that hard work, we've gotten barely any profit. It's like, I don't know, 80 echoes? Maybe? I don't know. But here's where you can buy Saul's fruit. We already have the Saul's fruit, so we're going to be okay. I very nearly bought it, but we need the thousand for uh, this down here. So we have that. Oh. I just remembered. You need a firkin of honey to pick up a blemigan, don't you? Let me. Yep, you need a firk and a prisoner's honey. Oh, I don't suppose I have one? No, of course not. Can I get a firk and a honey anywhere nearby? No, of course not. So I'm gonna have to reload. I'm tired. I'm kind uh well I mean nothing I can do just straight, just straight up 
doesn't matter. I, I don't have what I need. <sighs> that sucks. I really would... Ah, uh, man. I even thought I was able to deal with the Briss campaigner, and then just immediately she collapses to the ground. And I have to do stuff at Guider's Morn. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh. I'm, I'm like seriously considering if maybe that should just be it for tonight. Because <laughs> that was such an inauspicious start. It's, it's 10 o'clock here. I have to go to bed in an hour. I... Uh, why do I like this game so much? I... This game takes too long to play. But I like it so much. I don't know. Alright, well I'm gonna stop the recording here and then we'll see if I pop back in. I may I may just delete all this. This, this didn't progress anything. You know, uh, when I was a kid, I was on a tree house and uh, the tree house had a rope swing you could swing swing down Tarzan style all the way up it was like three stories up in the air um, and you could swing all the way down to the ground with a with a knotted rope and uh, I tried it uh, it was a, a friend's uh, tree house and the rope tangled around my neck, and I very nearly hanged myself en route to the ground. And, uh, you know, my my dad said to me as I uh, crouched there in the, in the grass, you know, choking and wincing, and uh, feeling the cold grip of death uh, regretfully remove itself from my person. Oh, you need to go do it again. You need to go do it again right now. You know, fall down seven, time, uh, seven times, get up eight. You need to do it now so that this doesn't, you know, become like a phobia. You need to get over it now uh, so you don't become scared of it later. So he made me go back up and re-swing. And uh, I, I nearly died again. But uh, my mom was there and uh, he couldn't make me do it a third time. So that's, so I'm here. <laughs> Any hoodle, I'm here, and I'm back, and I'm going to try this again, but this time with a firkin of honey. So that I can, <laughs> I can do things right for a change. Uh, yeah. Because I can't. Because I can't. Uh, it's a rough day. It's a rough, it's legit a rough day. I've, it's been a... Oh! I could have sold this instead. Alright, reload. <laughs> oh, I think this is after Stupidity 2. I, I've been stupid so many times in a row, it's hard to keep track of which stupid I'm on. Okay, 120, 120. So this is the correct one. So this time, I'm just going to sell my coffee, which I intended to do anyway, if I recall. I got it down down south. Okay. Now I have a freaking honey. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to be okay now. Hopefully. We'll see. I know I've not really evinced it before. Um, no, I'm going to buy more fuel. I'm going to buy more fuel because that was too close last time. And I, I just hate so much being out of fuel. It, it is astounding how much I despise it that feeling. Um, okay. I've already forgotten why I have after stupidity one. Oh, right. I think it's before I purchased all that uh, mushroom wine. Okay. So that's that. Nope. 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 Officers. 
sign. Okay. Heart six, iron six. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, manual save. After stupidity, two. Okay, now we should be okay. Now we're cooking with charcoal. <laughs> oh my god! Did I... Wait, no. He wasn't... No, he's not been my... He's not been my chosen doctor for a while. I mean, we know this is him. Yeah, of course... Oh, no. Nope. Reload. This is... This is amazing. I'm going to... I'm going to give this, like, a couple more shots, and then I'm going to give this up as a bad... as a bad idea. Just, like, straight up. Okay. I hate how hard it is to catch him, too. Like, I have 66 mirrors, you know? It shouldn't be hard to catch him. He's not even, like, a late game... Uh, officer, I don't think. Alright, got that. Um, I guess I should optimize for mirrors? Six... Six. I'm not changing the engineer. Okay. So, we're just going to save scum our way over. Just holding back the 15 dooms that surround us. When I think about these weird faceless uh, sphinxes, I think about uh, the Lovecraft story. Um, I don't know how well known it is, but Lovecraft ghost wrote a story for Harry Houdini. Uh, a real thing. It, so it sounds like I'm making... Every time I hear it and say it, it feels like I'm making something up. Because he... Because Lovecraft was relatively unknown in his time. Except amongst his friends. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. I mean, if you think about it, it was inevitable, really. Stone soul eyes? I don't know what that would be except for polythrene. <laughs> okay, I'd have rather had the fuel, but fine, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, this sucked. Reloading. Oh, I am in pain. 
Ooh, I'm going too far east southeast. Need to go more southeast southeast. I'm also going to have to think about refueling somehow. It'd be cool if there was some sort of uh, some sort of add-on you could do to the map or, or something where it gives you like an estimation like how much fuel and supplies it will take to get somewhere based on your current stats. It it'd be difficult because like obviously you know but if GPSs can do it Surely it's less complicated to do it in a game. I don't know. It would, I mean, it would include the mystery. It would have to be some sort of, like, late game item or something. But otherwise, the best that I can do is, uh, or I measured that it's, you know, I measured the, the amount of fuel it took to get to London from the Sphinxes. Okay. So... Doing this again. What if I accidentally sold the firkin? <laughs> just, I just lose it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Good lord. I think that's the price. Well, anyway, whatever. Okay, I got that. I don't think there's a... Uh, else. I mean, like, I just don't need Tall Street right now. Okay, so, manual save. Atcha Stupidity 2. Riddles. Haha, <laughs> Cat Shadow. Oh wow, that was pretty worthless. Okay. Good to know. Hey, nice. Manual save after stupidity two. Does this do something? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no. Load game. That's right, I'm gonna reload if I gain even one excess terror. Do whatever it takes. I'll cheat however I need to. Okay. Oh, nope. Okay, so where's the utter shroom from here? Almost directly southeast. And hey, I'll be able to fill in some of my map, it looks like. That's, uh, nice. I'm gonna be, I'll be almost there and then I will have my strategic information stolen from me and I'll be... I will eken. I'll eken from here to Thursday. And beacon too. Wait, what? What's that? 
Is that a light ship or? Oh god. Well, something's here. My god. Holy Madeira, what is that? It's just a giant mouth. My god. Like, what? Oh, I feel ill. <laughs> a gap in this colossal Z monster's throat has been forced open with thick heart metal beams. They strain under the pressure, but hold. As you pass through, your submarine lights pass over a message carved in a floating piece of some unfortunate hull. Beyond is nook. Beyond is freedom. Beyond is... Steak Fridays. The rest is scratched out. Enter Nook. Water presses against the airlock door. The breathing and slithering of the beast gives it the rhythm of a drum beat. Who would ever... Who would choose to live inside the mouth of it? Well, I don't know. You don your heavy diving suit and give the order to cycle the airlock. Water rushes in, you begin the slow swim down into the port. It soon becomes obvious that you are overdressed for the occasion. The people of Nook swim and breathe in the cloudy maw water with no apparent discomfort. Most are naked, with just a few clad and rotten rags that stream from their skin with no concern for modesty. None will communicate with you, if they even can. Those who acknowledge your presence just laugh silently at your bulky suit and unnecessary air hose. You'll need a different approach. Descend naked, uh, of course. Descend naked into Nook. At least you're unlikely to run into anyone you know. This is just, this is just Super Mario Sunshine, Ely Mouse Dentist. Just, just descend nude and unprotected into the maw, Mario. You undress. Every button, every stitch. The door opens. Ice cold water rushes upwards. Instinct holds your mouth shut. Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. Your lungs burn, holding in that last gulp of air. Your legs thrash. You can't hold it in. It escapes. You're choking on water. It forces its way into your lungs. The taste of burning salt suffocating every attempt to gasp, scream, or... Then, through the exhaustion and panic, you realize you're breathing. It's hard work. Your lungs fight against the weight. But it's enough. You can tolerate it, at least for now. The liberal application of wine will make this process easier in future. Bring a cask. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't have known to do that. The beast quivers with distaste at your trust, but how would it recognize me? There's like, how many people live? This is a place. People live here. Um. God, take from the weak. Good lord. A vile place, festering, acidic. No laws but those of tooth and claw written in scars. Civilization? Impossible. Making tea would be a logistical impossibility. Yet the, uh, yet the inhabitants seem content. Many who come here from London, the Connate, the Presbyterate, abandoning cultured life for this tenuous existence. They grin, their mouths full of stolen flesh, or float naked and carefree. Many have nothing, and nothing to lose. A group of swimmers dart past, hunting gleefully. One squeezes your shoulder, companionably. You've never met her before. Okay. Lost one tolerant for Nook Watch, so probably in two I have to go. Some upwards to the Great Maw. To the Serrated Abyss. I mean, why wouldn't I go down, right? Down here, the water is cloudy. It's green streaked by dissipating patches of coppery red. Only a few teeth still protrude from the walls. Instead, razor-sharp hairs line them, rippling gently in the current. Uh... <laughs> Unlocked when the currents of Nook is foul gas bubbles up from the beast's stomach. You have this. 
bilious cleft. I have to go, I think. Hmm. Phosphorescent nodules. I don't know. I don't... The problem is I need my solace fruits. I prefer not to purchase more. So I, I guess I'm going to have to have... I guess I'm going to have to have sex with these nook folk. Langorously entangles when past their fingers twine in the water, their arms stray over bare skin. One smiles at you, he beckons. And I got murdered. The two lovers lead you to a tooth the size of a London manor. It is riddled with caverns, gently lit by lambent nodules. In each cavern, lovers seethe. You find a chamber of your own. Hands explore, lips touch, acquaintances deepen. Okay. I have a nodule. Hooray. Um, okay. Whoa. The prices ain't bad. Stygian ivory? Uh. I mean, 26 here. So, I mean, it's no more expensive than anywhere else. I I mean, I get, yeah. Like, if, if I'm ever going north from Adam's Way, I want to make some money, I guess that, that works fine. Uh, I'm not going that way at this moment. Um, that might be the best price for fuel I'll see for a bit. Let's see, how much does City Ivory sell in London? 28. It's not great. Well, I say that, it's the, be it's the best besides uh, Polythreme itself. I mean, I guess. It's, uh. Let's see, do I need money for anything else? Not really. I'm not gonna jump back down here on the way back, I don't think. Okay, I have some emergency cash. So I'm just gonna do that, I think. Manual save. After stupidity, too. Um, okay. Now, off we go. I still need to find Hideaway, wherever that is. I'm so nervous that I'm going to... See something I don't want to see. I mean, there's unlikely to be any like other undersea structures because there's that place right there. What's that? I'm kind of curious. That's the thing. I've not been here up up there any either. Oh, okay. So that's a mushroom. Okay. Wow, that really is close. It looks way further uh, on the map than it is in real life. Apparently. Okay. And safe. What do you mean? Okay. 
Alright. Manual save after stupidity 2. Ooh. So your chemist would pay well for it, but you can put it... So I do have... Oh, here we go. So I did have tether. I kept... I looked in my hold and I was like, oh, I guess doing... Yeah, I guess doing it doesn't count uh, as, as a means of getting it because uh, it didn't show up in my hold as a jar full of tether. Okay, that's fine. All right, brought all the way from right. The chemist promised you a handsome reward. It better be handsome. He smiles at you over his teacup. He does not drink. I commend you. Several other interesting adventurers wilted and died before you in this endeavor. What? He hands you a check, drains his cup and gulp, and as soon as his own on his own ship. Holy Madeira! That really is a lot. Didn't expect that. All right, so I'm going to do that. Always more Blemigan. One of these days when I don't have brisk campaigners dying on me, or bruisers trying to murder me, or uh, tomb colonists trying to have a fun vacation, I should come here and just get like 60 Blemigans and just go every, every place. Gather intelligence. What? I miss a spores. <gasps> I forgot you could do that. You can make a lot. Okay, so you can make a live specimen, but you have to have stories of weight. Do I need a live specimen for anything at this moment? I don't know. Do you need that right now? No. Uh, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Live specimen, because I always need one until, it's just, you know, I always need one and then I find a way around it. <laughs> and now that I realize that there's a way to do it. Okay, let's see. So those are ways to get it. Okay, so it's necessary to do that. All right. <sighs> okay. I can speak to her just to see. Okay. Oh, God. All right, so, um, I don't think I will, I, I ordinarily would, the only reason I'm not is because I want those strange catches for, um, uh, for the venturer, if I manage to get more strange catches, because he wants either that or, oh gosh, I forget the other thing he wanted. Seven hunting trophies, I think. Yeah, I believe so. So whichever I get up to the right number first, and it's probably going to be strange catches because I need those hunting trophies in the Chelinate for my Poissonnier. Okay, so I can do that. Yeah, I think so. Manual save after stupidity two. Gather intelligence. Visit the village. Ah, uh, well. It's... It's not worthless. But it doesn't feel worthful either. Okay, so... So that's that. Um... Now the question is, how should we make our return? Um, 
it's just it goes against my whole view of things to just go back the way I came so I think I'm gonna go I guess I'm gonna go Rosegate Rosegate Visage and then Northwest I won't go to the Combined Canal Every day, someone's like, why don't we go to the Kamai Canal? It's like, I'd love to in real life, but in the game, it only gives you five bucks to visit uh, via port report. And there's nothing to do there unless you go to the surface. It's unfortunate, but true. Uh, I wonder what I'm going to do in Visage. I don't know if I should try the bat thing again. Uh, the bat mask. Last time I got kicked out. Ooh, wait, wait. I saw you down there. My god, two. to relook up what gives you better stuff because I think one just ends your hunger for a bit and that is worthless to me okay nice so nice so I so they kind of both give you something nice okay one hunting trophy so well yeah but I need some of these Unfortunately. Um, eh. That's nice. Okay, where are you? I saw you over here. Come on. I hope I have enough fuel for this. I say like why is that not filling up oh so stressful to me <laughs> it shouldn't be <laughs> it's just me backing up and with those at least it's relatively simple to fight them but it's still so scary to me eastern angler crab oh it doesn't have its own thing eastern angler crab okay so it doesn't it doesn't look like it matters. Oh, here we go. Easter. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we want to dissect it for knowledge. Oh, nice. Hey, not shabby. Okay, now let's head back to Rosegate, because we can use that port report for our dark purposes. Our dark and sexy purposes. Uh, in and by that I mean we can sell it in low barnet. Ooh, that's right up close. Yep, as per usual, the entrance is never in the direction you want it to be. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Just me trying not to cry. Okay. 
Uh, I won't look up which is best. I'm not interested in stitching ivory at the moment. Unknown toxins. I'll go with this one because it's the highest chance of success. Oh, uh, well, that's kind of mediocre. Someone has made a palimpsest of the bones. This is not a corpse, but a bone book. A Z voyage is engraved on the skull from a city at a confluence of three rivers. A woman is at the helm. On the underside of her rib, the same image reversed. She returns. An ancient language is scrawled over everything. Someone has attempted to score out the words, but was presented half prevented halfway through, or gave up. And that's probably like a hell monster. Come on. Can you imagine stumbling into this cigar shop? And it's like, please help us. And it's like, no. And it's like, do you have any fuel? Please, We're, we'll die here otherwise. And they're like, no. Buy a cigar, get out. Okay. And sample one. Problem is, like, it gave. Well, hold on. I'll do that, sure. If I recall, yeah, like, I don't. Ooh. I can afford to lose that, I think. Delicate workshop tools won't do for a flavor like this, the crotchety tobacconist says. I'll need to make some new ones. Can you bring me some particularly sturdy materials? Sure. Unread log. Dream of romantic literature. Okay. He weighs an eolith in his hand before tossing it into the air. Dense, sturdy. He catches and licks the stone, and well flavored. Perfect. These will make fine tools. I'll get to work immediately. He turns and strides up the stairs to his workshop. Hanger strikes ring through the floorboards above. Taste of marrow broth. Okay. Oh. Thumping resounds from the workshop above. We need to open that crate, the crashy tobacconist says. The claim man's already in chains, but we need him on the workbench. Hope you're ready. Okay. The crashy tobacconist and his apprentice stand by with chains as you pry open the crate. An unfinished clay man glares from within and growls as you begin removing planks. Once you've opened it halfway, he roars and hurls his weight forward. The wood splinters, the box breaks, and you sidestep side -step his charge, letting him run directly into the workbench. From there, it's easy to bind him to the table with heavy chains. Well dodged, Captain. Reminds me of when I was young and spry. His apprentice stifles a giggle. Oh boy. Oh my god. I'm gonna murder a clay man for a cigar. That's cold. That's cold. But we've already established I'm willing to sacrifice my own crew that trusted me with their lives just so that... I don't have to find a live specimen for for my oh god okay a chisel rests on the glass counter the crotchety tobacco smiles we have the tools and the clay man ready captain shall we I hope the clay man survives like we can just chisel off a chunk I know from fallen London like they can do repairs like clay literal clay like helps work it just has to be special uh okay Oh no. Oh. Shatter him. Oh no. Now I feel bad. A bit late for being squeamish. The crotchety tobacco shows you out of the workshop. You can still hear the shots of claiming. I thought you can just take his arm. Soon. Oh. oh. You can still hear the shouts of the clay man from the shop for a while. Soon only the sharp crack of the hammer rings out. When they come down, the apprentice and tobacconists are covered in a pall of dust. The apprentice's eyes are bloodshot and his lashes gray with powder. He coughs until he wretches. The tobacconist ignores him entirely. It'll do, he says grimly. The flavor isn't what I'd hoped, but it must suffice. It wasn't complete waste. You just murdered someone. I don't...
you murdered a dude. Unread log. I still don't know where these are found, really. Uh, that made me feel bad. It's like 30 minutes till I have to go to bed, and I'm making myself feel bad. K killing fake, fake people. Okay, so we can do that. Um, a free public lecture? Crashly Tabaxinus retrieves a yellowed bundle of notes from under his counter. You don't know how long I've waited for this day, Captain. Let your crew sit in if they want. Um, we can do the history of Rome or... Oh. Um, okay. Well, I don't care about the history of the shop. I'll just do top down. The history of Rosegate. If you'd like, I can share with you the colorful and inspiring history of our shop. I don't care about the shop. I hope you talk about the actual place. <sighs> Standing at a lectern before the hearth, the tobacconist recites his lofty account of Rosegate. Over twenty years ago, he opened his shop on the Z floor. Why there? It was a necessity brought upon us not only by the demands of our art, but by society's refusal to appreciate what must be done in his pursuit. But even without customers, they thrive. The advances we've made in the tobacconist's art are unrivaled, and while that is thanks to my own genius and creative passion, as well as the help of my apprentice, the greatest credit must go to my patron. When he first heard of the underwater cigar, he didn't scorn me as London had. He saw the possibility of impossibility. He saw the beauty. Without his support, Rosegate would not rest in the Z. Rosegate wouldn't have been able to experiment with 10,000 flavors. Rosegate would not be the home of the underwater cigar. Did we read this before? I can't recall. It's uh, the, the patron sounds familiar. I wonder if I've wasted man. We may have wasted. Oh well. So much effort and to sell it for 120 feels just very rough emotionally. Okay. Alright, so I murdered a dude again. One day I'll be numb to the suffering of others, I'm sure. I did save, so it's okay if this kills me. I did save, so it's okay if it kills me. Oh, it's just oxygen. That's worthless. What a waste of my life. You've wasted my time. You've wasted my beauty. More. Oh my gosh. Someone was down there. I wonder if anything happens with the Pirate Poet. I wonder if I should start researching that or what. Okay, so we made it here. After Stupidity 2. Alright. Do that. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, man. I feel almost relieved. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload that. No thanks to an, a free extra 10 terror. Uh, okay, onwards. And, uh, okay. This time we're just heading straight up. Because lives are on the line. We gotta get that meter result. I won't be doing that tonight, I don't think. It's already 10.30. I don't think I'm going north enough. Hmm. Oh, that crab just popped into existence. I know, I guess I have to go further south to find those... 
to find the crabs and stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's just they're they're hard to I guess they're hard to find when you go searching for them. They're always there when you're afraid of them. Like 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 all things, I'm sure. Oh, uh, of course. It's easy to kill, but it's not worth it. That's the problem. Get there. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> just just a horrible little noity laugh. Just murdering a bunch of bats. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's the way I want to fight all of my battles. It's just through through the rear. It's a shame that that's just not really what you can do in order to accomplish your goal. Okay. I'm so threatened to just keep speeding along, but I don't have the avid suppressor, so. there. And we got the guider's horn thing done, so we're not going to get murdered. Being not murdered is nice, or so I'm given to understand. Well, I guess I'm being not murdered right now, so, so I guess I do understand. Okay. I have... <laughs> I have nothing to hide. Uh, nervously, I'm going to save in After Stupidity. Okay. Here we go. Alright. He yeah, has 200... I don't know. Next time he shows up, I may just... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna try and look up, maybe look at Reddit or something and just see... How and when do you do the interesting stuff with them? Because otherwise I want to do my own thing, frankly. save. Actually, I could save here, I think. I'll, uh, I'll just save here for now, after stupidity. My my saddest, I'm just thinking about the sad moment when I last had the, the Brisk campaigner where I saved and then like five minutes later she died. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll reload. She died. You know, she died, she died. Just at the same time, I thought it was partially done by random chance, and presumably it is, but um, she kept getting hit at the same time, and there was nothing I could do. She was just already she was doomed in that save, essentially. Oh, I didn't get a port report for Rosegate. 
That makes me sad. <sighs> okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to stop there anyway, but next time I have to go get that mute result. Try not to sneeze. Because I have, I'm so close, I have everything else. If I, if I can just get up to Wither. If I can just get up to Wither, it'll be... Perfect. Five hundred. Okay, if I do this, then I just need one more hunting trophy trophy for the Poswanie. I think that's fair. Dreamless game. These will do nicely. I need persuasive threats, not weapons. And these are persuasive. Now, I have further need of your services. Uh-oh. Seven. Oh, good. Super meter salt. Okay. Well, I probably will need to go to both places, so it kind of doesn't matter. Just as long as I remember it's seven. Uh, let's see, and it's a thousand and seven hundred. Yeah, and it's like seventy-seven for the zoop, I think, to purchase it. So, so long as I have the money for it, it should be okay. Uh, I think I have enough to do the Tomb Colonist tour, actually. That's kind of exciting. I mean, fuel is going to be the thing. Alright, so we're going to manually save uh, on Overhill. I'm going to manually save on Overhill, like a monster. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I, I just decided it. I just, I just decided. Like a monster. Okay, so next time I'm going to go Barnet's Keep to sell off those stories, then Vendor Bite, uh, get those Tomb Colonists, then up to Wither, Muter Salt, immediately do Brisk Campaigner, see if that helps. There's a, there is a severe problem in that, there's a, I read, there's a potential eventually that, well, we'll, we'll get there when it comes to there, that it's possible that she'll want a very rare item, and I straight up... Uh, oh, I think it can be gotten in a rem, actually, so it wouldn't be her doom. It would just be almost certainly her doom. Oh, yeah, so we'll go there. We'll go to Avid Horizon for our little, uh, for our, what's his name? Sigil Navigator. And then, uh, Mount Palmerston, uh, presumably if we need it. Um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the Brisk Campaigner needs next. Hopefully nothing too hard, because I... It'll really hurt me to watch her die again. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I will see you all next time. Have a good evening. Goodbye, farewell.